Well, it's actually been uh, pretty amazing uh, introduction-wise. Uh, so our throughput uh, per machine, of course, has gone up about six to eight times, depending on what we're running. Um, our cost per project has, uh, for the PacBio data collection portion of it, has come down about uh, four to five times uh, for our projects. Uh, even when um, we work on switching uh, our existing projects from uh, what, what would be long read sequencing to uh, the new um, Hi-Fi variants, um, that still greatly reduced our cost and increased our throughput. So we work a lot on uh, de novo assemblies of new reference genomes, uh, some of which uh, people have never seen before, uh, never touched before, never produced a single piece of data. And uh, Hi-Fi reads have really enabled us to be able to go in and not just see what's in the genome and survey it, but also turn those directly into uh, large-scale de novo assemblies of either plants or humans uh, really quickly. And so, and the advantage of that with Hi-Fi reads is that we can take the reads and do something with them right away. Uh, we don't have to go through uh, what enormous amount of downstream uh, computation and processing to get to the point of having some sequence we can evaluate to see if we're capturing what we're interested in, if we're able to resolve uh, large portions of a complex genome. Uh, we can go directly to those from the Hi-Fi reads, which greatly enables our computation ability and our speed of being able to accomplish uh, these kinds of projects. In the case of, uh, of sequencing humans, uh, which we do quite a bit of for uh, diagnostics, we've been working on developing systems to apply uh, Hi-Fi uh, for de novo disease diagnostic diagnostics. Uh, Hi-Fi reads really allow us to call uh, accurate structural variations uh, and, and other types of variations that you can't actually see in something like short read sequencing uh, from Illumina. Uh, and we get to go directly from identifying regions of interest of variation to understanding the impact on the downstream genes that are involved in the process because you've got 100% accurate data to work from uh, where you can reconstruct the both copies, for example, of, a, of haplotypes of a gene, one of which has a variant, one of which doesn't have a variant in it.